Yo, what's going on today? I really want to talk a lot about NFTs and crypto art. So you've been hearing a lot about that. So I just want to sort of, you know, do a video giving my take because I'm sort of making a sort of uh, NFT uh, piece or, you know, crypto art to get out there. But I want to sort of talk about it because I sort of ran into uh, my first sort of discussion with NFTs, finding out about it uh, last year. And since then, it has just been growing and growing and growing. And, you know, if you don't know what NFTs are, they are non-fungible tokens meaning that they are basically uh, digital assets that you can tokenize so making it unique enough to where it's now sitting on the blockchain so now there's a ledger uh, showing exactly who sort of started it who sort of sold it and who sort of sold it after that the secondary market so that they're more like physical assets um, nowadays so you're able to collect them and you're able to have limited editions of them and you're able to have you know sort of like I said a ledger showing exactly uh, where these digital assets are and who owns them so I'm an avid watcher of CNBC and if you don't know what CNBC is it's a financial uh, network that just talks about stocks and you know just the financial world and they have been in a craze talking about NFTs and crypto art they had you know the artist beep along they had people from the platforms that sort of uh, create this marketplace for crypto art buyers and sellers and you know they had individuals on that sort of sold sneakers digital sneakers for NFT uh, that that are NFTs and crypto art so there's been a huge craze in terms of uh, just the individuals that are in the space now making waves and there's celebrities and just random individuals really just talking about crypto art and nfts i mean jack dorsey recently uh is trying to sell his tweet the first twitter tweet uh for two million dollars so there's all these different sort of uh stories that are sort of being thrown out there and individuals um that are now being sort of uh put into the spotlight that are in the nft crypto art world so you know a lot of people are are actually talking about it so that's why I think it's important uh, for you know me to just like have the conversation when it comes to NFT art and how that integrates into my practice and in the creative and arts practice in general and your practice so I think it's super important to do that because it's, it's becoming more mainstream and you know it's a hype but it's also a hype that's here to stay uh, because you know the it's a tool and it's a tool that has a lot of benefits and value you know the more popular something gets the more people get into that space and the more chaos can happen. So I sort of see this NFT talk more like the beginning of the internet talk because NFTs and the blockchain and what, you know, cryptocurrency is, is not bad at all. It's not a Ponzi scheme. It's, it's something, it's a tool. It's like I want to get into this space um, the right way. I want to sort of create NFTs uh, the right way. So for me, I'm using NFT and the blockchain as a tool to sort of enhance my work, to add value to my work. So for me, I don't want NFTs and this whole sort of technology to be something where it uses me. Uh, so I'm just making artwork just to put on the blockchain. I don't want to do that. I want to sort of make make work um, where the blockchain and NFTs and the idea of tokenizing something can add value to whatever I'm making and I want it to be natural so that's what I'm doing and I'll have sort of an, a whole playlist of my ventures into NFTs and everything so I'll make sure I have that up so I can show exactly what I'm doing and be more transparent so that is something that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna work on but basically you know NFTs is something that I think a lot of artists should just look into to in terms of knowing exactly what it is and where it's going and how they can sort of uh, find a space in there because like I said it's, it feels like the the early days of the internet and if you don't know the internet for those of you born after 2000 uh, there was a huge internet bubble where everyone was making websites you know people were parking dot com names and you know it was something that you know a lot of people were getting into because they just saw a lot of money and then it starts to sort of even out in terms of people utilizing it the right way so I see this like I said as this early stage of people figuring out what NFTs are and then you know a lot of people get into it uh, like all the hype that you see and then it starts to even out to where people 
um, who really utilize it right rise to the top and the cream of the crop will just rise and the quality will get better because there's a lot of just like junk out there right now and people throwing out junk because people don't really know exactly how to use it because it's an open open source sort of uh, system and technology to where you can do anything with it so it has to sort of form the form over time so that's what's going to happen uh, with NFTs and blockchain and when it comes to you know artists in that space and creators in that space so you know there's been stories of individuals that have had you know sneaker collections that are actual digital sneakers but they're going to turn into uh, physical assets uh, but they sold a ton of digital sneakers on on the blockchain I know you heard of the artist people that's the biggest name out there right now which is like great for a lot of these different platforms that have had uh, sort of this explosion of NFT uh, artists coming onto their platform to, to sell in, in the marketplace because people has been that story that everyone sort of talks about right people has sold more than uh, three million dollars in the first drop and then recently sold a piece worth uh, more than 69 million dollars and basically that piece was bought by another individual who is a co-founder of another cryptocurrency so you know it's all sort of insular building that hype building that hype uh, so that you can have the story that everyone's easily able to share around so that when people talk about cryptocurrency you just hear that positive story uh, most people in the space will not make money most people in the space uh, are just going to reuse old assets or reuse old content and things like that to really try to see you know if they can sell it or not a lot of people like people who are just amazing are the ones that will rise to the top and be those individuals that really are able to utilize the power of nfts and you know the blockchain so that is sort of my perspective my take on the cryptocurrency sort of phenomenon I wouldn't say it's phenomenon it's more like uh, this this early stages this early new stage in terms of you know getting getting this more adopted into the mainstream because we have to figure you know a lot of these newer generation and kids are easily able to sort of adapt to buying things online that are just digital assets they do it in you know minecraft they do it in other sort of on in-app pur purchases uh with all these games so they're used to it and those are the people that will be running the future a lot of individuals that are older than millennials you know you have to sort of sometimes wrap your mind around it but it's not very difficult uh once you understand uh some of the basic foundation of you know why is it great to sort of be able to tokenize a digital asset unique enough to where now there's a ledger and now you know exactly there's a one of one so that is something that you know i think a lot of people really need to uh understand um, when getting into the space, the foundation, and just uh, the psychology, the philosophy behind, you know, why NFTs exist, because it is a useful tool uh, to bring into your studio or creative practice and figure out how you can sort of utilize that space when everything is going more digital uh, to sort of get your work out there and to get into new spaces. So I want to make sure I sort of do a short video talking about that and let you guys know that I'm making a playlist that will sort of go through my venture into making a NFT art uh, a collectible uh, so that you're able to understand exactly everything that goes into it um, because I'm learning as you guys are learning as well so this space is so new that even the people that created it you know they're just finding out exactly what other people want to do with that technology so you know everyone it's it's an open door it's basically wide open it's the wild wild west and we're going to figure it out together so hopefully you'll follow me along that journey and i will see you next time peace